Hey everybody, welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. My name's Chad and this is... And this is the channel where you can follow our family's adventures. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually gonna do a movie review. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure off. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. We just recently saw the movie Wonder, uh, which is awesome. It's a new movie. And we wanted to talk about it because our motto is obviously love always, adventure often. Those are our two um, core values of our family. And this story particularly, we feel like as a family is going, has helped us and is going to help us love more. So I'm gonna give a really quick plot line about the book and the movie, and then we're gonna talk about some of the things that we really loved about the movie and how it compared to the book. So basically, the, the, the plot is it's about a young boy named Augie. He's going into fifth grade. He's been homeschooled his whole life, and now his parents feel like this is the perfect time for him to go to mainstream, um, but he has that um, facial difference that makes him stand out. And so the book, the story is all about his journey, going into middle school, dealing with being different, um, bullies, friends, events, all of that kind of stuff. So it's it really tugs at the heartstrings. So the other thing that I love about the book is that it talks about these events in Augie's life from different perspectives of characters in the story. So you get to hear about all the events from Augie's perspective. You get to hear about uh, from his sister's perspective, her friends, his friends, the bullies. So Addison, talk to me, tell us, how did it? How did it? The movie compared to the book. Do you think people should watch the movie first or read the book first? Read the book first. Yeah. Why? Um, cause I don't know. It just feels like you just kind of get a grasp on it, and then when you watch it, you understand it better. Yeah. There's a lot more detail in the book, right? There's a lot. There's a few things that happen in the book that don't happen in the movie. Yeah. Um, and read honestly. Reading the book at night as a family brought us really close together and it lasts longer. And then I felt like the movie was more gratifying once we knew the story, had read the book and had that experience as a family reading together. So that's awesome. So tell me, talk, tell me one favorite part of the movie. Um, when Augie's sister is in a play. Yeah, it's a really good part. It's kind of uh, that part, we can't talk too much about it because it'd be a spoiler alert, but so Augie's sister Via is in a play at school and something happens. I mean, this is a culmination of, of some things that are going on in her life. She's struggling with friends. She's in high school. She's struggling, struggling with friends, uh, fitting in, boyfriends, her little brother. She feels like um, Augie, because of his special needs and that kind of stuff, he takes a lot of her parents' time and attention, and so she's struggling with that. And this scene where she's part of a play at school, I won't say any more than that, but this scene is really cool. Yeah. Um, and she really comes into her own. Um, a lot of those issues are resolved through this scene and, and through this event, and I, I love that part as well. I, I thought that was awesome. Yeah. My favorite part of the book, or my favorite part of the movie and the book is um, Halloween, oh, yeah. where uh, Augie gets to, he says he talks about how he loves Halloween because he gets to wear a mask and he can feel comfortable and he can walk with his head held high. Um, and actually that ends up kind of switching towards the end of the movie where he gets a lot of self-confidence in who he is and comfortability in who he is. But it's awesome in the movie, the Halloween scene when he's walking through the halls and he's high-fiving everybody. <laughs> and it's, yeah. just, it's just super fun. Uh, really, really cool. Um, and I thought the person that played Augie did an incredible job. Yeah. Who is your favorite character? Augie. Yeah? Yeah. Who's your second favorite character? Uh... Jack. Yeah, Jack did a really good job too. Yeah. Yeah, Jack is his, it ends up being his best friend in the movie and somebody who just he, really supports yeah. him. He fights for, like, literally. <laughs> yeah, a couple times, right? He literally fights for Augie. So, talking about it as a movie as a whole, um, a side of the story, I thought it was an incredible movie. 
The actors did an, an awesome job. The cinematography is really, really good. And here's the thing for me, like a lot of these movies end up having really, really cheesy parts. I didn't think this thing, I didn't think this movie had cheesy parts at all. Yeah. The, was... the writing was done really, really well. The on-screen play was really good. Um, and everybody just felt authentic in their parts. Mm -hmm. what, what did you think of it as a movie as a whole? Well, it was super good. And I felt like they like followed the book so good that it was just super good. So what did you, what do you feel like the overall message of the story is? Um, just be who you are and don't care what other people think. Yeah. Cause yeah, you'll just find friends anyway. Yeah. I love you. I love that. Uh, I think part of that is I love that he is just an ordinary boy. He yeah. loves the same things. He loves to play and star Wars and all of these sort of things, but he just has something that makes him a little bit different and a little bit special. And yeah. it, he, it, the, the story really is about him learning to be normal uh when he has uh, some some extra normal features um uh, that make it a little bit more tough so for me i felt like the message was you know really at the beginning of the movie it feels like augie needs all of these people to support him right and then ultimately towards the end of the movie you'll find out and 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 the way that everything unfolds is that they actually they needed Augie just as much as he needed them. Yeah. For some of the trans transformation that they wanted to or needed to go through, some lessons that they needed to learn, all of that kind of stuff. I, I loved that, that we, that was the main message that I got is that we all need each other in our own special ways. And the other part of it is, and this is where it ties back to our model to love always, is um, just being kind to people and loving people for who they are, for how they look, for how they talk, for you know how they live. Just love them for them. Don't love them for what you wish they were or hoped they were. Or um, don't push people out of your life because they are different. Yeah. Because we need those differences in our lives. We need those people to teach us things that we couldn't learn on our own because they're different than us. Yeah, because then we'd just be dumb and like robots. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be clones, right? Yeah. All right. So that's our review of the movie. We absolutely love it. Want to recommend it to every family there. I mean, it is just heartwarming and fun throughout the entire thing. Yeah. It's really, really good. So now we get to rate it. And apparently our rating system is Karen's. If you don't know what a Karen is, it's those cool little rocks that people stack on, on the paths. They're fun to make. They are fun to make. And they show you the way and you know uh, keep you on track and that sort of stuff. So out of one to five Karens, what do you give this movie? Five. Five Karens. I'll have to agree. I think it's one of my favorite movies of all time. So mm -hmm. the, here you heard it from Madison and I, five Karens for wonder. Read the book, get out and watch it. We think it was a ton of fun. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. If you've seen the movie, put in the comments, no spoilers, but put in the comments what your favorite part of the movie was or tell us what you felt like the message of the movie was. And uh, we'll have a discussion down there. That'll be fun to see what people thought of it, what they thought the message was, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, until next time, love always. Adventure often. Yeah. See ya. Peace.